this is an interesting one. Um, wasting Jed York's money. I, I put it in kind of a negative connotation, but I, you could also look at it in, in terms of Jed York's uh, generosity. We often talk about him being stingy and kind of a cheap, we call about the cheapo Yorks. Well, I would think there's about nine people in the world who think Jed York is the most generous person in the world and really have to thank him for their lifestyle that they're going to have the rest of their lives. I just want to point it out. There's not, Jed York really has like a foundation, the Jed York Charity Foundation for football players who can't play football anymore. And he continues to add to it. He's put in about a quarter of a billion dollars into this foundation. He's, he deserves recognition. Can we go through it real quick? Oh, yeah. Weston Richburg just retired. Okay, he played 28 games for the 49ers and they and earned tw- earned. The Niners paid him 29.5 million. So he got more than more than a million per game. More Jed, than a million per game. More than a million per game. Is Jed not the most generous person of all time? And you thought Eddie D was generous? I'm not done. Hold on. D Ford, still on the team, has played 15 games including the playoffs, let's give him credit. 37.7 million. More than 2 million. More than 2 million a game. The most generous owner of all time. Jerk Jerk McKinnon 16 games, 16.6 million, more than a million a game. Pierre, remember Pierre Garcon? Yeah. 16 games, 22.7 million. He's off probably in Cancun right now saying, just put it on Jed York's tab. Jed, Jed York's got this. He played 16 games. Jimmy Garoppolo, still on the team, 28 games, 86.1 million, gonna get more. That's 3 million a game. A That's start. A, millions. a start. Now, he had those five starts that the Niners didn't really pay for. Uh, that was still when he was on the, the Patriots contract since then 28 starts 86.1. I'm not done. Malcolm Smith. You may not remember him linebacker, uh, 12 games, 12.3 million. Brian Hoyer, six games, 10.6 million. He's set for life because of the 49ers. And then you got Sean Coleman, an offensive lineman. He's made 2.9 million in three years. Never played a game. Been hurt the whole time. Jalen Hurd, 2.2 million. Never played a game. So that's nine players. $220 million. And in turn, Jed York got 121 games. You can't call him cheap, Dad. You can't. He's the most generous owner in sports. You know, um, well, first of all, good going, Jed. Thank you, Jed. Um, th- thank you. You're really uh, working hard. I never felt Jed was all that cheap. The father, mm. it, you know, has a reputation of being very cheap. Now, I can tell you that years and years and years ago, John York, Pear John York, P E R E, the father, mm-hmm. uh, took Maddie Mayoko and me out to dinner in the city. And he was very generous. We had nice wine and he paid. So he wasn't cheap that night, but I've heard a lot, a lot, a lot of stories about him being cheap. But in this case, Jed, you know, um, very generous. I mean, these are a lot of players who could have been going, like Pierre Garcon probably could have retired. But Jed was like, no, 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 come here. You know, play a few games. We'll give you $22 million. You'll be set for life. Don't retire yet. I, I think it's a very nice thing. You know, usually owners pay football players, but he's like, you know what? You used to be a football player. Let's pretend you're still a football player. Give you some more money. <laughs> retire in style. I think it's it's wonderful. It's He's a he's a pro player kind of guy. So, I Jed, you, it, you don't get it, enough it, credit, it, Jed. Yeah, you don't get enough credit. But look, uh, seriously, though. Seriously. Uh, for Jed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I want to say he's improved as an owner. I guess he has, but I, I, I have trouble praising him. Uh, I do because he's flopped. I've seen, I, I was around when he flopped a lot. I, I was a writer when he, he was a, a flop writer, but now he really has a good team. I mean, Iggy, I believe that this 49ers team is the best team in the NFC West should yeah. win the NFC West, I believe, yeah. and is a Super Bowl contender. So even though in the past I've considered Jed York a schlemiel, I, I, I'd have to say he's he's really performing very well now. I'm still reluctant to give, put him in the Hall of Fame yet, you know? Yeah, I mean, this is the cost of doing business. He's thrown away a ton of money. I didn't even calculate the money he spent on Chip Kelly, Jim Tom Sula. I don't even know. It's not public record, I don't think. God knows. But – Hundreds of millions of dollars he put down the drain because you can't get everything right. And at least he's got a good team right now. So, again, good job, Jay. Good job, Jay. That's a lot of money you wasted. Not you. It wasn't even him. It was Jed York and Kyle Shanahan. Jed just wrote the checks and said, okay, I trust you. I trust you. I want to talk about Chip Kelly for a minute because he always always kills me. (laughs) Yeah. He came to the Niners and 
you assume he made a lot of money. Oh, and, and yeah. He was, a, he was one of the worst coaches in the history of bad coaches. Yeah. Then he went over to UCLA. And I, from what I understand, Iggy, he is the highest government public employee in California, right? It's a Shonda. He is, right? He is. He is. So I want to say, you know what his talent is? Making taking money. people's money. Yes. Ta- taking people's money. Because yes. Iggy, he's really a bad coach. He's a bad coach. He's so a bad I don't coach. even, in a way, blame. I do blame Jed for him, but he's taken in a lot of people. He took Chip in- Kelly's like a piece of technology that came out in 2007 and never got updated. <laughs> like, a, like, a, like a cell phone that was cutting edge in 2007, but it's the same thing. Remember Blackberry cell phones before iPhones? He's a Blackberry. He's a Blackberry. He's a, Blackberry. He's a, he's a flip top. He's a flip top. Good job, dude. Like what your mom had. That was He's revolutionary 14 years ago, man. And you're still doing it. Nice. But he put it over you. on the Eagles, on oh. the Niners, and now on the Bruins. I know. I, I used to actually watch the Bruins, a little rah Ross team spirit. I, can't, I root against him. Fire, Chip, Kelly, please. He yeah. didn't deserve to make any more money. That guy's rich. Man, he's rich. What do you think he does in his spare time? 